Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast. I'm your host, Danita Young, and today we've got a guest speaker, Larissa, that just graduated the accountability program. And the topic today is all about if you have those insecurities at the gym, whether it's about the people or whether it's your form, you're not alone. And here is how we can get past it. Let's get started. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm winning the macro contest against my husband. So. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me our, what the contest is. I want to hear about it. So we got back from our trip to Denver. And we're like, okay, we need to get back on track, you know, because you eat and drink a lot when you're vacationing. So we get back and we're like, well, I'm going to eat really good. He's like, no, I'm going to eat better than you. And so like we decided to do a contest on our macros because he has a guy fitness coach. Similarly, he does macros too. And he, he strength trains and whatever. So I was like, well, no, I'm going to eat better macros. And he's like, okay, fine. It's, it's on. Like whoever has the highest protein each day, highest percentage of protein each day, wins the daily macro contest. And we also took measurements at the beginning of the week and then we're going to measure at the end. Yay. <laughs> Who loses? Of course, he has an advantage because he's a freaking male and whatever. But like on the daily, I'm winning on the macros. So I guess I'll take that and just... <laughs> Right. So it's kind of a dumb little contest, but it's it's funny. It keeps us motivated, kind of encouraging each other to stay on track. I freaking love that. I totally love that because you know your win of that macro thing is like two X, right? Like you know that if there's any slight win, like if you could almost take your results and just times it by two, I mean right. really it's because he's he's just got that extra leverage because of the testosterone. But that's that's so funny. Right. right. <laughs> it's just fun. So um I know that I'm just about done with the accountability program and I could never get myself motivated a to step foot in a gym. And I never thought I was going to gym, be a gym person at all. Like I never oh. thought I would be a person who was like, Oh, I really want to go to the gym for me. Every single time going to the gym was this huge thing lingering. And I was like, Oh, I guess I have to, you know, like if I told myself I was going to go to the gym, it's just like forcing myself to do the thing that I really didn't want to do. Yeah. And I thought, okay, the accountability might be the thing that I need to help kick me into being a person that actually is motivated to stay on track with this stuff, not the person who's just like, okay, I guess I'm going to do this because I know I have to, but like a person who actually wants to do it. Does that make sense? Totally. Totally. So I feel like in that way, it's accomplished that because I found myself on vacation thinking, okay, when can I go hit up the gym? And like never in my life before would I've been like, okay, I want to go work out in the morning. I'm on vacation. Let me go find the gym and see what they got. Like that, that never would have been a thing. So, it, I mean, it helps that my husband's into working out, but I think too, the, the accountability has really helped because I did even getting home. I was like, oh, I can't wait to get back in the gym. And that's not a thought I ever would have thought. This whole thing has been really helpful for me because I started out with working out at home. So I got some equipment and just working out at home was good because it, it taught me consistency. And I felt like once I figured out how to do all the moves, especially the stuff with the weights, I didn't feel as much like an idiot going into the gym. I think there was this social barrier, mental, and I know people aren't looking at you that much, but you think they are. Like you think if I'm going to go to the gym, I don't want to be out there trying to do an RDL and looking like a total idiot, right? And you can watch videos all day, but that doesn't really train your body to do the motions without looking like an idiot, wobbling around and just looking like a total noob. Four months of at home only workouts really helped me develop like just the me motor memory, like mm -hmm. doing the moves repeatedly to where I could do them somewhat smoothly and not look like a total idiot. And then when we got a new gym membership, I was like, well, I guess I'll go check it out. And so now I don't feel like an idiot going there and doing the exact same things because the things are familiar. Now it's not like I've benefited from the accountability. I wasn't sure if six months would be enough, but I feel like it's done what I needed it to do. And I've, I've gotten that, but I'm trying to think, is there any knowledge I need to get? Let me give you a lump sum of everything that accountability has. And I want you to really sit back and think about these as I kind of explain them. And I want your higher self to either just say completed, 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 not completed so that mm -hmm. you can hear what is like the big picture of everything. Right. So right. accountability, um, let's just talk about, um, let's talk about mindset first. So what we do in the mindset is the loop, which is we basically identify what your old limiting beliefs, the feelings and the actions and the outcome and why people stay stuck in a pattern feeling like you just can't seem to get to your goals. It seems like there's something always in the way. What we do is we break that loop and the women that are in the program are going 
oh my gosh, I've been in my way this whole time and allow them to step into their truth. We rewrite their past story about I'm a failure. I'm not enough. Blah, 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 and we go into their truth. Now these women are just stepping into their power. So along with mindset, we go through a fear versus love vibration, learning the techniques between your toroidal field of what surrounds you. You're either contracting your energy or you're expanding your energy. So it's being able to kind of be aware of what you're doing. That's a great section. The next section we have is called easy world, where if you're living your life in what's called the emotional home of chaos, you love stress, you're thriving off of the actual adrenaline of stress. We actually learn that that's an addiction. And being able to then recombat that stress and find yourself in calm, easy world where you can actually be at peace and live your life in peace. And you'll find that it's all within you. We are looking for peace and we're looking for joy, but we actually have a very cool technique to actually like bring that home and, and operate in that space. Next one is your emotions, understanding your emotions. There's an awesome guide that walks through what is fear. Oftentimes we've been taught to suppress it or push it away because we're like, oh, I'm in fear. It's not good. And we hurry up and just like stuff it down and keep moving forward and try to push ourselves to be happy or whatever. Right. But it actually allows us to actually see that it's a message, that a message needs to be brought up. And when the message has then been received, then we're actually released and going in back into love. We also go into anger and sadness. And so those are three pivotal emotions that are in our emotional guide to help people identify what are emotions. Nobody ever teaches us these things. So that's all, that I would say is definitely all of the mindset piece is on that. Right. Anything, anything there that you feel like you need to accomplish left over on those? I don't think so. Because I think maybe it was fear that was the beginning of my relationship, like just working out in general mm -hmm. and lack of self-confidence working out at home. So those two, I think I can genuinely say I'm turning into one of those people that like going to the gym and not just out of responsibility or obligation, but because I want to go. I like how I feel when I'm finished working out. I like, like it's not a scary place anymore because I think I was sort of fearful it's so in a way like I know you were talking about it more as a general mindset thing and just like the way you live but I think just from a working out perspective that one has really like, I don't think that my life really was a big struggle with living in a fear-based mindset a time because I am like a very spiritual person I do tend to spend time meditation and I work on letting things go and you know finding peace and calm whenever I find myself getting stressed out so I generally haven't had a big struggle with managing that and I don't have a high stress job that I think is there I think we're, we're where we need to be in mindset love it yeah and looking back on your journey in this uh, six months what I really noticed was that you were working pretty hard you're just seeing that you weren't really getting anywhere and that can be really demotivating when you feel like you're just kind of like how so I know that there was a pivotal moment let's go to the workout side now in the workout side, we really went into like how you can actually shape your body. Now we are not given this information because everything's about weight loss. And in weight loss, we can't really sculpt our body the way we want, but you're in body recomposition. So you actually can physically see your waist is down and your booty is up. And so yeah. being able to have that control obviously right. holds that motivation, right? So that was one of the biggest moments was being able to have that aha moment on that call of, wow, for me to get a bigger booty, I need to start lifting more and bringing down right. those reps. rather than doing an excessive amount that people get stuck in, being able to really bring that down and make it so it's more effective, but then allowing those rest days is really where our booty actually starts to grow that muscle. Right. So right. Right. Well, and another big hang up for we is I have four kids. So time is not exactly something I have tons of not having to go to the gym and do an hour and a half of cardio in order to lose weight. I'm literally there for 30 minutes when I go, I'm 30 of the minutes from the time I walk in to the time I walk out. And I get a solid booty workout when I do the booty stuff. I mean, I get the big, biggest things I can lift and I, it doesn't take long. It's time saving, different type of workout. And it also saves time. So I love that. Yeah. And the results, right? It's so phenomenal right. because yeah, there are women that are burning themselves out seven days a week, doing a lot of little things, lifting this light weight, and they're just not seeing the results, which kills their motivation. All right. They're not seeing, they're just working so hard to reach it, but you can see that there is a level of balance with it. So that's right. great. So workouts is a lot about, yeah, how much to lift, which we already covered, being able to just learn the consistency part, which you learned about being able to just find out what works for you. 
also, instead of having the mindset of working out, of having like the no pain, no gain mentality around working out, but being able to view it more as a self-care and that we can actually have like a healthy, positive approach, which you obviously do. You're like, I enjoy taking care of myself rather than it being like this, like forcing experience. The last pillar of the program is nutrition and being able to start at where you are. So instead of having like a cookie cutter plan that's like eat two tablespoons of peanut butter and one apple. Instead, it's just starting off with the basics of getting protein in every single one of your meals and snacks. That's right. the first, which you did amazing. And then just being able to go, okay, now start adding some vegetables. Now let's start putting fruit more towards the beginning part of your day. And let's start taking that out towards the latter part of your day and learning how to, when to eat things so that when you're sleeping, you're more on your vegetables, your proteins, and your fats, which you'll wake up with a smaller waist. The other one is small waist secrets, learning about our blood sugar. And if we're spiking it like this, we're going to get bigger adipose. Like our stomach is going to get bigger, right. but being able to balance our meals like this with our macros, we'll actually start to see that waist shrink, which you saw about almost three inches lost in your waist. We don't have much to lose. So right. three inches right. is really big for you. Being able to learn that, right? The other thing that we want to learn is that freedom with your food, this restrictions and the going out to eat women are in straight up anxiety and panic when they go out to eat because they're just like, yeah. So then they go from these extremes of I'm going to either starve myself or I'm going to really binge. Mm -hmm. And so it's really being able to find that balance of like, Hey, where can I actually build up and make sure I have protein and I go out and I'm not sabotaging everything, but I'm enjoying myself still. Right. I feel that you've mastered clearly because your waist is da, 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 just hitting, really hitting really good. Then the other area we tap into is hormonal and learning about cravings and learning about what stages of our hormones that we're in, because menopause is coming up, girl. If it's has not hitting yeah, yet, yeah. it's a thing. And so we learn about menopause. We learn that the symptoms of hot flashes and mood swings and irritability are not normal, but these are things that we can actually learn to like work with and be able to actually reduce so that we can really find that harmony during that time. I feel like I've gotten all of those to where, where I know what I need to do and not going to be perfect with any of those. Like there's going to be bad mindset days and there's going to be bad eating days where I'm just like not there. I know how to get back on track quickly and feel like I have that mindset of, okay, well, it was a rough weekend. Like, let's move on. Let's go ahead and get back to eating what we should be eating. And, and just to make it a habit so that when I'm at place like Denver, every morning for breakfast, I was eating straight up protein. I was eating eggs and yogurt for breakfast and sometimes some fruit if they had any, but they didn't always have fruit. So it just gravitated towards those. I wasn't even interested in having a pancake or a waffle. I lean towards it now. I don't even have to think about it. It's not like a sacrifice to eat those things. It's just habit, you know? Yeah. And what we don't realize is the effect that this has on so many other ripples in your life. I'm going to give you an example. The fact that now you're in the right balance of your macros will affect your hormones, which will affect your symptoms. And you're going to go through your certain cycles and, and menopause with ease. Trust me, you will, because you are not going to be nutrient or vitamin deficient. So all these other women that are in straight chaos and their bodies yeah. in absolute dysfunction and, and not harmony, what it is, is you've learned a foundation. That's right. truly what it is right now. That also has a ripple effect to your children. Mm -hmm. the biggest oh, it sure has. Yeah. Right? So one of the biggest things that I hear from women is, wow, I can't believe that as soon as I started to shift me, it's starting to shift their children. And they've actually done research. It says about 65% in moms are fit and healthy, that their kids are going to be fit and healthy. And so it really just shows statistics that that's a ripple effect. Now you're starting to see it's going into your husband, which is the next ripple effect. And so then it just really creates a level of healthiness in your life that goes to confidence in your workplace, confidence in yourself, being able to go to the gym, being able to live your life on vacation. You put your bikini on in Vegas, girl. How did that feel? Yeah, good, good. Yeah. I've been seeing all the ripple effects. The whole thing like has been really, really life changing. And I'm, I'm excited because I feel like it's it's done all the things I wanted it to do, you know, that I really wasn't confident was possible because I've tried diet programs before. I've tried eating different types of low carb or low fat or low calorie, all the things and just really nothing would stick very long. And I feel like this isn't going to change. I don't think I'm going to change. Like if this is where I'm supposed to be and I'm going to continue doing this. And this is the first thing that where it, it's coming off and staying off. And I, I know it's not coming back and I'm reshaping. I'm getting a bigger booty, which is 
like a huge deal for me. I look so much better in all the things. <laughs> Girl, I relate to all of that. That's yeah, it's, it's cool to have the control finally, right? And so that's honestly why I dedicated my life to doing this because that feeling of control that you're feeling right now, mm -hmm. I'm like, I have got to share this with other women. Yeah. Wow. Right. That headache and the frustration and the low confidence and the not worthiness. And just as age hits, it just feels like it's going this way, but it doesn't yeah. need to really, it can be this, yeah. way, which you can see that you're actually getting better with age, which is yeah. Really yeah. Great, right. Right. Exactly. So I'm excited. I think I needed the accountability because I think without it, I would have just kind of handled it. I probably would have done well for a month or two, not seeing the results I was looking for as quickly as I wanted. And then just eventually falling back to my old habits. And so I think accountability for six months was the key because I'm not afraid I'm going to fall off the wagon now. I feel like it's been long enough that it's, it's changed my habits more permanently because I don't think you can build a solid life fitness mindset and habit in only a month or two. And that's how long I, I consistently would only manage to stick to a program for a month or two. And that's just not enough to make you change like permanently. But I feel like the longer accountability thing really helped because I'm a people pleaser and I, I don't want to, I don't like failing at things. Right. And that's the yeah. whole point is that this should be the last program that you ever need because the foundation is so strong for you. Yeah. That you're like, I got this, which is beautiful. Yeah. That is the most powerful, empowering, exciting feeling to not only just start to share this with all of the ripple effects around your life, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's your own children, right? 100%. Yeah. So I'm going to give you your rating of where it was before and your rating now, but I mean, you can clearly see there was zeros at the beginning is what I see. And now you're just yeah. like tens across the board. What a, what a beautiful moment. And it's weird. Cause I didn't, I didn't think I was that bad at it when I signed up for the program. Like I literally signed up on a whim, like girl, I was just getting your emails because you know, I bought the booty bands like back in the olden days. And then I used them like I usually do for a month or two. And then I just stopped using them. I would occasionally pry those things out when I saw a video or something on how to whatever, but a couple months of using them and I just sort of quit. And every now and then I would pull them out and try again. I thought I had a pretty good knowledge of things mm. that I was okay, that I could handle it myself, but obviously not <laughs> like not compared to now. Absolutely not. Is there, um, what's the emotion that comes up? It's mostly gratitude. It's just like, I'm really glad and thankful that I was able to do this and that it works. And then I made that commitment because I think financially I would have said, that's insane. That's ridiculous. Don't do it. But then I, a moment where it's just like, nothing's happened. I just have to do something extreme. And financially that was a, an extreme like thing for me to do. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to freaking do it. And I if I have to work extra hours to make it work, I'm just going to do it because if I don't do this now, I'm going to be 40 this at the end of this year. And I was like, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. So I just did that. And I was like, okay. So, but I'm just really glad that it worked. I'm glad that I didn't waste that money, that it wasn't a bad decision and that I did it. You know, like I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> you must be super proud of yourself, especially looking at it that if you have a foundation, think about how your fifties and your sixties and your seventies or eighties are going to look now with that really strong foundation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not scared of the fifties or the sixties now, or even the forties. I was a little nervous about the forties. Cause like, I don't want to be getting old, but I could feel myself getting old. I could feel myself not like I've always been, I've been a job where I'm very physical and I'm up and down and moving furniture. And I felt like all of that was getting harder. And now it's back to feeling like it was in my early thirties. So I'm like, well, if I keep on this, I'll be fine. I'll be fine in my forties, <laughs> you know? Well, the truth is, is now you're reversing aging. You truly are because aging has such a direct correlation of that muscle mass. And now that you've learned that and you're able to now build back that muscle mass. Wow. What a, what a yeah. control over that aging weight gain, right? Yes, yes absolutely. Cool. So for those that are kind of like the old you that mm -hmm. is afraid of maybe feeling like it's an investment on themselves, or maybe they don't feel worthy enough to have an investment in themselves or maybe they just don't really know the booty bands and right. barbecue's world yet. I mean, you're an OG, right? So you yeah, kind of yeah. But somebody that's just coming in for the first time, what is something, if you could just speak to them directly, what would you say to them about your experience or just in general, like kind of get out of your own way type of thing? Yeah, um, I would say you're worth the investment. I mean, I don't hold yourself back 
and think, you know, like spending money or time on yourself isn't worth it. Ultimately, it's going to be worth it in so many different ways in the health of your kids, in the health of yourself, in your ability to move and do things, in your confidence level. All of that is worth way more than any amount of money or time that you're putting into this. And really, looking back, it's not that much money or time. Think of how much money you spend on things that, that don't end up lasting and that you enjoy for a minute and then it's over. This is like, I'm going to enjoy this a lot more than I would have enjoyed another vacation because it's going to last I mean, until, until I die, I suppose, <laughs> but just, you know, put yourself first for once, do something that's actually going to benefit you. It's, it's oh. worth it. Thanks for sharing that a little snaps right there. Congratulations Larissa, for passing and graduating the program with flying tens across the board. That is the ultimate goal. And for you just to nail workouts, nutrition and mindset across the board of all tens is just mm -hmm. absolutely gives me goosebumps. It's just, uh, it's just a privilege to be able to observe. Yeah transformation and so thanks for believing in us for trusting in us yeah. to be able to to do that so thanks so much for that um if you might do me a favor and send me over your progress photos i sure. just want to see like a before and after i think yeah. just yeah. to follow you and your journey yeah tomorrow is the final day of my husband and i's competition okay. so i'm gonna be taking some progress photos tomorrow morning and i will send those to you girl i'm so proud of you and you are must be so proud of yourself Oh, okay. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for jumping on. This was great. I'll make your certificate right now and I'll send that on over to you. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Vance Barbells. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. You have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty Bands and Barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, I said that's it, I'm gonna make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start you can take control again thanks booty band nation positive that you will get more sculpted more toned and you're going to love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches from where you're at no matter where you are or how long you've been in the position so just click the button below to book the call with our team